<sighs> Stop! Let me go first. Ooh, nothing like fresh art supplies! I can barely contain myself! Inspiration is happening. You seeing what I'm seeing? Nope. Then just sit back and watch! I'll start with some white on white. Can't quite see it yet, huh? I really don't get it. These should help. Whoa! The chalk looks huge! But I still don't see a thing! And for me? Ugh. But wait! I won't be needing these. Bye bye Now let there be color! What's meant to be will appear! Getting there! Aha! Uh -huh. Hello? Huh? Impressed? I call it colors. Interesting. Really? Wanna see mine? You can sure see it now! That is so clever! How did you do it? It's simpler than you think. Just draw the subject of your picture with the white chalk on white paper. Choose your first color and apply it to a sponge. Next color, please! Once it looks like this, sweep it across the page! See how the chalk blocks it? And you're done! So simple, yet so brilliant! Up next, a Rubik's Cube. Now that's a real thinker. A ruler and a pencil. Mm, I got it! The ruler can help me make lots of straight lines. These angles make it 3D. What's Nick's doing? How do you make it look so cool? Just turn the paper? It's a little more complicated than that. With the right shading, things can get really dynamic. See? The pencil is a great contrast. Almost there! And next, some super duper light shading. You can barely even see it! The shadow ought to make it pop. Yes! How's he doing this? Popping off of the page! So cool! Ready to play? There! Incoming! Ooh, I wanna try! Check it out! What's this? It moves! Wow! Nicely done, Nick! <laughs> it's like they're coming at me! Let me get closer! Look! Look at her go! <laughs> Look at all the flying colors! Getting dizzy yet? One more twirl, and done! <gasps> oh no! What? Is it on my face? Oh, it's like an abstract makeup! I've never seen anything like it! I know! Oh, yes? Remember what we talked about? Uh-huh. Yep. I'm coming! Who on earth is that? Got here as fast as I could. She sure is pretty. Hi! Here's your inspiration, guys. Now we're talking. Mine's gonna be quite literal. There it is. Uh, Nick? Anybody home? <laughs> there you go. Ugh, so many girls. I know. I'll draw straight from the heart. I 
Are these just doodles, Nick? <laughs> Her hair is so long and blue. And what a beautiful tail she has. Such a good swimmer. I guess it's good. You can tell it's a fish, right? <laughs> Thanks for the quick swap, bro! Gah! All done! Isn't it stunning? <gasps> Unbelievable! Oh no! I can't show her this! Ah, uh, yep. It's a fish. Uh, I mean, we've seen better. Yeah, mermaids are way prettier. Time for another spin! Look at them go! Orange? It's a surprise round! I don't get it! Pick me! I know! Uh, a fishing pole! Nope. Wait! I got it! <laughs> yes, Brian? A car, right? No, not a car. It's a unicorn! Uh, oh. <gasps> I can draw one of those! I only have a million of them! They're my favorite! See? <laughs> this girl's officially lost it. Cool, right? <laughs> okay then. Start the clock! Unicorns can't be that hard. It's all about a bunch of bright colors. And markers on plastic don't really dry. So when you color them close together and add a little bit of water, they all kind of melt into each other. Push another piece of paper on top and it makes a cool tie-dye effect. And whatever you draw on top is sure to look super magical. And you can just color it black! See how it pops against all the different colors? Neat, huh? Is time up already? Mine's done and perfect! You can say that again! I love that! What about your drawing? You have nothing, Madison? Mm, meh. Like I need more of these things. Nope. I don't need one. Okay. Suit yourself. Hmm. <sighs> I hate seeing her sad. Here. Want my drawing? You can never have too many unicorns! Oh, so sweet. Get your pencils ready. Let's see here. We have purple. Which means… Monkey! Wow! You ready? Hey! She wants a monkey? Ooh, ah! <laughs> That's pretty good! <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Don't be a monkey. Draw one! Hmm. What's she doing? Hey! Wanna help a friend out? Mm, I guess. Let me see this. Drawing a monkey doesn't have to be complicated. Isn't this little guy adorable? I can almost hear him! Wow! You're the best! Now for mine! Oh, just one more minute? Time is money, Madison. I did this all by myself! Impressive, huh? And here's mine. These look really similar. Almost like they're by the same artist. Too weird. It's mine! Oh, really? Okay. You can have it. It's mine, see? I'm so proud! Almost finished! <laughs> hey! Not until it's finished, okay? Now don't move! Your eyes aren't symmetrical. Nope. Definitely not. Done! It's you, bro! That looks nothing like me! 
You're just trying to make me feel bad! Now give it to me! Fine! What are you gonna do? Time to taste your own medicine! Buckle up! Got a big head! Bulgy eyes! Crooked teeth! Oh yeah! Ta-da! Are you kidding? I'm not that ugly at all! Let it go! Uh-oh! Should I? Go for it! Markers? Wow! Open it! Open it! Whoa! This thing's heavy duty! Mwahaha! <laughs> no! I have a way better idea! Hey look! Who let the bunny in here? Aw! How are you doing that? Watch out for the wolf, little guy! Ah! And now, for our feature presentation! This is awesome! You sure are talented! Yahoo! Hey, wait! I only talk with my hands! But wait! I have an even better idea! Now that my eyes are adjusted, I can put my shadow puppet onto paper! All I have to do is fill in the blanks! Recognize what it is yet? It's man's best friend, of course! Now all that this doggy's missing is a little pop of color! Aw, It's my best work yet! You're never gonna stop, are you? Huh? Did the power go out? <sighs> Check it out! Inspired by the finger puppet! Genius! Why didn't I think of that? You're gonna love this! Cute, huh? It's the bunny! Okay. <laughs> it also inspired this guy. Just a couple more fingers. Why don't you take this one? Thanks! Ugh, not again. At least I have sex. Nice. First step in our drawing challenge. Meow! We love cats! They're simply the cutest! Eee! Girls, we're drawing, remember? Should I make mine a tabby? Sit still, okay, little guy? Is this even accurate? Now we're talking! I want my proportions to be right. It's still not right. These can work. Just need a pinch of fur. Good thing I'm wearing goggles. Let me look at my calculations. Yep, just as I thought. What's Annie doing over there? The results are in! It's what I suspected all along. No more science! It's time to get artsy in here! Time's up already?! Show us what you got, girls! Don't be shy! Very nice, Madison! That is really good! I'll show you how to do it! Start with the word cat. Then build off the letters. You can add colorful details, too! Don't forget his little face! And some stripes look good, too! They kinda look alike, don't they? Time for another spin! Hearts are our favorite! And we have the perfect models! One, two, three, go! So handsome! 
He has my heart all right! <gasps> That's my David! Your David? Well, this is awkward. Don't fight, girls. There's gotta be a way to settle this. Hello? You give me no other choice. And poof! Not so handsome anymore. Sorry, girls. He's mine! Huh? Has he always looked like this? What was I thinking? Ugh! His smile looks different. I hate to judge. Oh, right! Hey, Annie! Is that David? <gasps> I look okay? Where? Ha! Sucker! Don't see him? Where? <gasps> My markers are all gone! Madison, did you take them? Well, that wasn't very nice. Try to steal her stuff now! Is Madison… frozen? Oh, these are mine! Thank you very much! We're drawing hearts, right? To make a perfect heart. Enclose it in a rectangle. And add stripes with a ruler. Then curved lines in the heart. You can use different colors. Outline the heart and make it nice and dark. Now make both sides match. Use white to make a sheen effect. My heart's finished and it's 3D! And unfreeze! But I didn't draw anything! This chair is incredible, Annie! So cool! Sorry about the theft. For me? Thank you! As long as I have David… Oh! Ready to go for a little spin? What does that mean? You need some more supplies! Well, now what? We're missing the most important part! How is she doing that? Here you go! Let me give it a whirl! Neat! Just like holding a basketball! But way prettier! But where do I put it? Of course! I'm feeling a little thirsty! That was easy! Now you give it a try! Okay! It's lighter than I thought it would be! Whoa! Why did you let it go? It's out of control! Come back to mama! Huh? Gah! I'm soaked! Why did it go crazy on me? Oh, you poor thing! You could use a little extra help. Ugh! <gasps> My glass is full! Thanks! My pleasure. Now draw! Let's see here. Okay, first I'll draw a little guy. And then comes the water. It's like it's moving! Look at it go! This is incredible! Hmm. I know! If we're going with a water theme, let's take this fish for a swim! Go on, little guy! He likes it! Wait, where are you going, fishy? Hey! Get back here! Hello? Anyone home? Time's up, girls! Show us what you've got! It's a man floating away with a balloon! Woohoo! Wow! He's really moving! And you? I'm afraid mine swam away. Whoa! That's bigger than I remembered it! Man, that thing stinks! Whoopsies! 
girls! You're hilarious! Um, can I have your attention? That's better! Now, let's continue on! What does the E stand for? Elephant? <gasps> I know! Wait. Ugh. Hello? Do you mind? Sorry! Jeez. What starts with E? What's all this? Achoo! You all right? Must be those allergies, huh? Maybe I should… Wait! I know! This is gonna be good! Knuckle cracking? Ooh, it never ends with this girl! Hey! I can't move my arms! Who did this to me? Phew. I can finally focus. May as well draw the letter E. But let's take things up a notch. See? Isn't it prettier now? It kind of has a 3D effect. And done! Wait! I totally forgot about Ava! Oh, guess I got a little distracted. Here you go. It's about time! Accident! I'd better hop to it! Aw, I didn't even have time to draw! That's too bad. Kate! Why don't you give it to Ava? Consider it a peace offering? I insist! Well… I guess that's okay. I had that coming. Oh well… Hey Kate! Why don't we share it? Who wins now? <sighs> this is beautiful, girls! Oh, so nice! Watch it, Adam! My bad. This is gonna take forever to clean up. I'll get a mop. Uh, it's the least I can do. Let me see that. I'll take it from here, Adam. Cleaning supplies can make great art tools. Especially mop heads. Watch this guy do its magic. Dribble paint onto it like this. Nice color choices! Now lift up the middle as you turn the canvas. Don't stop spinning! Looks cool, right? We're not done yet. That's a lot of black paint. But if you spin the canvas really fast, things get really interesting. Look at those four strokes of color. You just can't do that with your hands. Cleaning days should come around more often. Art is all about going with the flow. And nothing can kill your vibe. Not even a friend with a sandwich. Ugh, I can't eat like this. Alright, time to get back to work. This plate isn't even dirty. Pop out a hole and turn your plate into a palette. Use old plastic bottle caps like these to hold paint as you create. I bet Van Gogh could have used one of these. Tired of this mess, Lana? Ta-da! I'll show you how it works. Just add paint colors into the little caps. Now 
now you won't make such a mess. And there's plenty of room for a friend to join you. Wow, check out Bella's concentration! When you're painting still life, you've gotta really focus and pay attention to every single detail. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be refrigerator door worthy. Maybe even picture frame status. Well, this is probably as good as it's gonna get without me full on tracing the thing. On second thought, maybe this drawing will serve as a practice round. Yep, we're just gonna toss this over here for now. Oh no, Bella, your paint! Oh boy, I should have known that was gonna happen. Come on, dry faster! Hey, I wonder if I can use this straw. Maybe if I blow into it, it'll dry. Ooh, check out those awesome lines! This looks so cool! Um, is it just me or did I just create the perfect tree painting? And maybe I should add some flowers with these q-tips. If you use a q-tip to dab color onto your tree branches, you'll end up with natural looking flowers. But be warned, it may take a few minutes, so be sure to be patient as you go. Wow, who would have thought such simple moves could create such a stunning masterpiece? That's so beautiful, Bella. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this anymore. Am I brilliant or what? We've all had one of those days where we feel a little blue. And no matter how much your friend tries to make you laugh, you just can't seem to get in a good mood. And boy, is Bella trying hard to make this sad sap laugh. It's no use, Bella. I'm just too down in the dumps. Too down to smile at Mr. Mooseface? Yikes, <sighs> Justin's not budging. Oh man, there's gotta be something I can do to cheer you up. Oops, there goes my fork. Yes, the perfect opportunity to make Justin laugh! And all I need is right here in my old trusty backpack. Sometimes a little extra creativity can really come in handy. And in this case, a black marker is just the ticket. When your friend isn't looking, you have a small window to create the best joke ever. On a plate like this one, draw a little stick figure holding a balloon. Aha! Uh, Bella, what on earth are you doing? Did you know that if you pour water on a nearly dried marker, it'll lift it right off the glass surface? See? He's moving around! Wow, that's actually pretty funny. No matter what design you draw, this little trick is always sure to bring a smile to your face. Try drawing a little boat and watch it sail away. How does this work? Why don't you give it a try? See? Nothing like a little creative spirit to turn the frown upside down. Oh, oh, you ready for another round? Here we go! Look at it go! Scissors? Now that's a tough one. I'm suddenly inspired. I'll start with some handles. Then onto the blades. Well, that's not right. Uh, I gotta start over. These things are harder to draw than I thought. Uh, there's just gotta be a way. Maybe I need a new angle. Hey, with these things, you kind of look like an owl. I got it. All I needed was some perspective. These can be the eyes. Now I can draw the rest of the owl. Hard to believe this all came from... A pair of scissors, right? And for the rest of the body, you can draw it freehand. Well, let's add some color. Whether it's orange, brown, you can color the owl however you like. Oh, look at those sweet eyes. I can almost hear him say, Whoo! Oh, I hope this turns out okay. Ahem! Pencils down! Oh man, it turned out okay. Right? Uh, looks like scissors to me! Yeah? Uh, thank you! I'm next? It's an owl! Well, isn't that magnificent? You win! Creativity is always your best bet. 
What's up next? Well, let's find out, shall we? A crab? Yes. I'm so good at drawing crabs. After all, it's just a body with some legs. Hmm. I know. Psst. Want some candy? You think of everything, Matt. Yummy. Well, that was sure easy. Nice and distracted. Let's see if she can tell the difference. This is gonna be so good. Yes, she's going for it. Huh? What is that? This isn't candy at all. <laughs> it sure isn't. Wait, I can totally use this. And bam! Ever notice crabs kind of look like hands? They make the perfect stencil. Just gotta add some claws and eyes. Can you see it yet? He's perfect. Time's up, kids. Okay. Like mine? Oh, I guess he'll do. Oh. You should have done what I did. That crab is simply adorable. Another point for you. Nothing to get crabby about. 